does appear that he was probably nicked by that bullet. That and Aaron he turned his head just in the nick of time, but just. And Aaron, you were so near to all of this yourself. You were right there. How how did you personally feel about your own safety? Were you scared? Uh, what was that experience? I was totally not scared for my own. None of us in that front row went down to the ground. Not a one. We wanted to only help the president. That's all we wanted to do. Either we could protect him, we could stand around him. I didn't see one person in the row hit the ground. Not one. I, I was shocking. No one was concerned about us. We were only concerned about him. Now, you're somewhere safe. You're out of there as you're starting to process this. I know we'll all be processing this over the coming days and weeks. How are you feeling now in this moment? Well, what I've heard coming out here is now they feel that there was two shooters on both sides. So they got the one on the tower on this side, but the one on the right side, they never got. So they, that's why they wanted us to leave immediately because they thought there's still a shooter out there somewhere. So there could be in these woods around Butler. Aaron, you know, I, I've covered many Trump rallies. I don't know how many you've been to. This is my sixth. This is your I was here. I was the fourth car in the parking lot this morning at 20 to 7. So I've worked all day. You've been here all day. Yeah, you know, that. I knew you were NBC. <laughs> we're yeah, here, we're here. Look, you know, the, the, the atmosphere coming into a Trump rally, the supporters, very jovial, very celebratory. Typically, people are selling merchandise, food. Uh, what's the. What were you coming in with today, and what are you leaving with tonight? Well, I was here four years ago when he was in Butler. You know, it was like 58,000 people. I tell people it was the most magical night of my life. When he came on that helicopter and circled two times, he had four rallies that night. It was just an unbelievable night. And I was anticipating to be another unbelievable night, but not this way. And I just, it, it's just very sad. I mean, it, it, all these people that came to see him and to have him hurt, if you, uh, it, 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 I, I can't even describe it, you know. It, I just feel sad. I feel sad for our country. I feel sad for everybody, you know. I mean, you don't like the guy, don't vote for him. Don't kill him. We love the guy. We're going to vote for him, you know. I mean, what, what, what is up with his violence? I mean, it's just, it's just terrible. I, mean, I, just, I just wish that people that, I mean, I'm glad that guy's no longer with us anymore in that tower. And I hope they get the other one, too. And I hope they don't, they don't nick him. I hope they get him and he's down. Aaron, thank you so much. I'm so glad. No, I'm I'm so glad you're safe. I know it's a lot, a lot to process today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Absolutely. Right.